friends we would like to solve a problem based on mover circle so we have got a situation in which an element is subjected to various forces as shown in the figure let me call this point as point a this point as point b and here this point as point c so here we have to find the following quantities that is stresses acting on plane ac so there's a plane ac over here which is inclined at 40 degrees with the plane AB. So on this particular plane, how much stresses are acting? We have to find out with the help of Mohr circle. Also, we need to find out the principal stresses and the value of maximum shear stresses for this situation of stresses. Okay. So what we shall do is we'll first draw the Mohr circle diagram. So to draw a Mohr circle diagram, we need to follow certain sign convention. I will explain you what is the significance of sign convention. You can consider any sign convention as per your understanding. So here we are following this sign convention friends. So we represent shear stresses along the vertical axis and the normal stresses along horizontal axis. So tensile normal stresses are shown towards right and compressive normal stresses are shown towards left of this horizontal axis. Similarly, the clockwise shear stresses are shown in the upper direction while the anti-clockwise shear stresses are shown in the downward direction. Please remember the tensile are taken as positive while compressive normal stresses are taken as negative. Similarly, clockwise shear stresses are taken as negative and they are plotted in the upper direction friends and anti-clockwise shear stresses are plotted downward direction and are considered positive. You may feel that the upward should be taken as positive. That is okay. But for this particular sign convention, we have been following this one. If you follow this sign convention, it will be very simple for you to find out these values with the help of Mohr's diagram. Let me start with the plotting of Mohr circle. And for that, I have taken the grid lines. Okay. So which these grid lines are going to represent the values of normal and shear stresses. So let me give you the scale of it. So we are going to follow so along horizontal direction one unit will represent friends 10 MPa and in the vertical direction also this one friends if I say like this one unit equals 10 MPa friends. So this is the scale we are going to use while plotting the Mohr circle over here. So this horizontal axis represents the normal stresses while the vertical axis is going to represent the shear stresses. So what we shall do is we will first plot this particular plane, plane AB. So the plane AB will be represented by a point on this particular graph. Okay. So let me plot a plane AB friends. So plane AB has got normal stress 100 MPa. So this 100 MPa friends is a normal stress acting on plane AB. So this we call as sigma xx. We have a shear stress of 28 MPa acting on plane CB. So we will also get a shear stress of 28 MPa acting on plane AB. This will be a complementary shear stress. So this value will also be 28 MPa. So this is shear stress tau xy friends. And that is how much 28 MPa. So we got the stresses on plane AB. That is 100 MPa which is normal stress. And 28 MPa which is shear stress. And this shear stress is acting on plane AB in this direction. So it is going to rotate the element in the anti-clockwise direction. So I'm going to plot plane AB on this particular graph. The AB has normal stress of 100 MPa and the shear stress which is anti-clockwise of value 28 MPa. So normal stress will come towards right and anti-clockwise shear stress will come downward as per this sign convention friends. So tau xy of 28 MPa and sigma xx of 100 MPa will be coming on this particular graph. So if you see this particular point, so this point has normal stress 100 MPa. So if you count from here, this value is going to be 100 friends. And in the y direction, if you see here, it is 10, 20 and 28. So the vertical value is going to be 28 MPa. So I plotted the plane AB on this particular graph. Okay. Now similarly, we can plot plane BC. So plane BC has got a normal stress of 34 MPa. So friend, this is called as sigma yy. It is again tensile. Okay. 
so tensile will also come towards positive direction of axis right so 34 MPa so we also have a clockwise shear stress of 28 MPa so these two stresses will be plotted on the plane CB we can say so let's see how it is plotted so this plane CB or plane BC has got normal stress of 34 MPa and shear stress of 28 MPa which is in the clockwise direction so clockwise we take as negative so I have written negative over here so we have plotted both the planes on this particular graph now we'll connect these two planes so when we connect these two planes it is going to intersect the horizontal axis which is called as normal stress axis at this particular point so this point I'm going to call as point O so this is the origin of the mole circle we have just connected these two with the horizontal axis now we'll plot the mole circle which is passing through these two points okay which are representing two planes that is AB and plane BC please remember to make any more circle at least two planes we should be knowing so when we say we know two planes it means we know the corresponding stresses acting on two planes so now we got two planes AB and BC and passing through these two planes we have got a Mohr circle so this is basically a Mohr circle friends now if you see the question we have to find the stresses acting on the plane AC which is inclined at 40 degrees so this plane AC we have to find stresses on these two planes and also we need to find the principal stresses and the maximum shear stress so let's first find the principal stresses and the maximum shear stresses so if I draw a line passing through the center of the Mohr circle and intersecting the Mohr circle at these two points so here at this point friends so if you look at this point friends so at this point your shear stress is maximum so this is called as maximum shear stress okay so this is also maximum shear stress and downward here also this is also called as maximum shear stress this is positive and this is negative so we got the maximum shear stress corresponding to this particular point so if you read these values it is 10 20 30 and 40 approximately in 40 plus something 2 we can say so we can say that this maximum shear stress is approximately 42 MPa okay so if you draw this graph properly with the help of proper scales you will be able to get very accurate values with the help of more circle so here I have not drawn very accurate graph so I am getting approximately maximum shear stresses 42 MPa now we need to find out the principal stresses so we know that the principal stresses are the stresses corresponding to the plane where there is no shear stress so if you see this point let me say this point is E and this point is let's say F so corresponding to point E and point F there is no shear stress there is only normal stresses are acting so these are called as principal stresses so you will be having major principal stress here major principal stress is shown by sigma 1 and at this point F you will be having minor principal stress so this is called as minor principal stress so is shown by sigma 2 so if I find out the value with the help of graph we can see that at this particular point the normal stress is around 100 plus 10 so it is it comes out to be 110 approximately we can say so major principal stress that is sigma 1 is approximately 110 110.2 we can say so this value we can say 110.2 MPa and if you see here it is 10 20 and 20 uh, 24 we can take approximately so it is 24 MPa friend. okay so graphically we are able to find major principal stress minor principal stress and here if you look at we got maximum shear stresses 42 MPa this value we got as 42 MPa friends so having understood how to find major and minor principal stresses now we would like to find the stresses on the plane AC so plane AC will be having normal stress let's say it is having normal stress sigma and it will be having shear stress friends so shear stress I am going to call tau so we need to find this so we need to find this sigma and tau that is normal stress and shear stress acting on plane AC so we have to first locate the plane AC on this Mohr circle so if you see this particular diagram the plane AC is inclined at 45 degrees in anti-clockwise direction with plane AB so in Mohr circle the angle will be doubled so if it is 40 degrees here it will be 80 degrees friends so we got a plane here friend which is inclined at 80 degrees in anti-clockwise sense you can see here with plane AB this point indicate plane AB so, so from plane AB this particular plane is inclined at 80 degrees so this point will be representing plane AC 
okay so we got a plane ac graphically so plane ac is inclined at 80 degrees with plane ab here so now the values on this particular plane will be found directly from the graph so this x coordinate of this point will be representing the normal stress and the y coordinate of this point will be representing the shear stress okay approximately measurement if you see this value is 100 and you can see it is slightly towards right so, so if you measure this x coordinate approximately you'll be getting 102 megapascal and similarly if you measure y coordinate it will be approximately 10 20 25 26 you can say so shear stress we can take approximately 26 so when we calculate graphically the value of normal stress and shear stress on the inclined plane we got approximately normal stress is 102 mpa and shear stress approximately 26 mpa so we got most of the required values with the help of the graph now what i will do is i will solve this problem analytically also to check whether the values we got are correct or not so for that let's find out these values analytically so friends let's try this with the help of analytical method and check the values what we have obtained are correct or not so if you see here we have got the normal stress acting in the x direction that is sigma xx as 100 mpa tensile this is 100 mpa friends it is tensile sigma yy which is the normal stress acting in the y direction which is 34 mp again it is tensile tau xy which is 28 mp anti-clockwise so we are referring this particular plane friends so here this tau xy is 28 mpa and it is acting in the anti-clockwise direction right so i have taken it as positive similarly the angle of inclination of the plane is also in the anti-clockwise sense so since it is anti-clockwise sense it is taken as positive here so 80 degrees positive so always the angle of inclination we take as twice in the Mohr circle calculation okay so since it is 40 degrees i have taken two theta as 80 degree so the stresses on plane ac so on this particular plane ac the stresses will be given by this expression friends this is the expression of normal stress so it is sigma xx plus sigma yy by 2 plus sigma xx minus sigma yy by 2 cosine of 2 theta this angle friends and then tau xy sine of 2 theta again okay so if you substitute the values corresponding values sigma x is 100 sigma yy 34 divided by 2 here sigma x is again 100 minus 34 by 2 cos 80 and then tau xy is 28 mpa so 28 times sin 80 so if you solve this you will be getting so normal stress on inclined plane that is sigma equals 100.305 mpa so we got approximately 102 which is very close to 100.3 so if you draw a proper graph okay you will get almost equal value so it is 100.3 and we got almost 102 so that is okay acceptable similarly now we'll find out the shear stress so which is given by this expression friends that is sigma xx minus sigma y by 2 sine 2 theta plus tau xy cos 2 theta and if you substitute the values and you solve them you will get the value of shear stress as 27.63 mpa so if you look at here graphically we got that value as 26 mpa so both are very close to the actual values okay i am again repeating these values what i have got that is from graphical calculation okay so this value may change if you draw proper graph you may get more accurate values so we got normal stress and shear stresses on inclined planes now let's also find out the principal stresses that is sigma 1 and sigma 2 so for that the principal stresses are given by this expression friends sigma 1 sigma 2 plus minus sigma 1 sigma 2 equals sigma xx plus sigma yy by 2 plus minus square root of sigma xx minus sigma yy by 2 the whole square plus tau xy the whole square now we will substitute the values here so if you see here there is a plus minus so when you put plus sign you will get sigma 1 that is major principal stress and when you put minus sign you will be getting sigma 2 that is minor principal stress so when you solve this you will get the value of sigma 1 as 110.3 so we got approximately 110.2 mp you can see here and sigma 2 if you see we got 23.7 mpa analytically and here we are getting 24 mpa which is very close to the answer so this way you can easily find out the normal stresses shear stresses on inclined plane as well as principal stresses and maximum shear stresses with the help of Mohr circle 
and you can also verify these values with the help of analytical method. So we will also see some more examples based on the Mohr circle. Thank you very much.